everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Colab for machine learning and Python coding okay so if you type Google Colab in Microsoft Bing or Google you can see this click this and it will show you all the recent and other Google Colab notebooks shared with you. So you just click here new notebook and here it will create a new uh, IPYNB extension uh, notebook. This is generally called Jupyter notebook. Okay, so here it will assign one uh, here if you see it will assign one hosted runtime for us okay it will show a ram and how how much is the memory uh, for whatever we are doing now here okay now let me rename this notebook lesson one okay so here uh, let me write a small python code here uh, let's see here or just click here this uh, run symbol and you can see here on the right side it is connecting to the hosted environment something is getting initialized and you can see the ram and the disk here and you can also see what is the ram uh, 0.76 gb and per 12.68 gb and also the disk size here 107.72 gb something like that okay so if i write here simple statement print A B C okay if I click this it will just show the output here okay this is how you can uh, make use of this Google collab okay and let's implement a small Python program here go to W3 schools uh, you can see here the tutorials for Python where is this here learn python is there so here uh, you can write uh, there is a print hello world something like that and uh, here if you type hello world it's sim uh, so we can implement something like this creating variable something like this okay so now uh, just take here x is equal to 5 y is equal to john something like that copy and write this simple program here if you type if you want to write the next line of the code type here code and copy paste here this and click run it and you see 5 comma john here okay and if you write to uh, want to write any kind of heading or comments you take this text one okay text and you can write uh, my first python code on collab okay you can see here on the right side uh, the text is getting appeared here and you can also change font if you want here like this okay same okay so this is how you can uh, practice python in google collab and you can also uh, if you are a machine learning beginner you can also import some libraries uh, here so the famous libraries for the machine learning are uh, like something like here we can see here go to tutorials and you can see here learn machine learning right in w3 schools you can see here uh, some kind of uh, machine learning all these are some uh, map map mat plot blip this is one of the library and this is pandas numpy all these are libraries okay let's see whether these libraries will work or not okay and uh, let's go to this uh, numpy tutorial and here numpy it, they are showing this numpy is a python library numpy is used for working with arrays okay numpy is a short for numerical python okay so now let's see here uh, how it will work so this is uh, a small 
okay uh, numpy array let's execute this same thing in the google collab for that first we need to import this numpy library right so if i don't uh, import this it will give me as error okay see first if if i if i do this directly in the code we'll take the new code here and if i type this and if i run it it will give it will give us name np is not defined okay so we need to define that by importing that numpy library okay copy and here on the top we can import this one and run it see now no error is there so let's print this array here okay we are printing the array and the type of uh, this uh, variable arr okay so it's showing that uh, it, it printed that array 1 2 3 4 5 and also arr is the uh, array type okay this is how this uh, particular uh, google collab will work uh, we, every time we need to create a jupyter notebook file with extension i p y n b okay and also if you go and see uh, here some machine learning algorithms or something like say linear regression okay see here uh, this in this regression uh, here linear regression uses a relationship between the data points to draw a straight line through all of them this this line can be used to predict future values okay so here what they have done is they have um, imported a matplotlib library and they plotted this uh, uh, something like this plot okay so let's do this here and uh, a library take this library take this library here so go to code and I'm importing this matplotlib okay now and scatter this uh, uh, assign these points for x and y and scatter and show okay copy okay now let's run this and you can see the graph here so how nice is it is very easy and uh, you can also learn very fastly this python or machine learning things using w3 schools and collab okay so before that uh, if you want to learn really this machine learning things uh, uh, it is better to learn some fundamentals of python okay while practicing this python fundamentals use collab it will be easy for you okay here you can also see here um, machine learning train and test so when we are using some models in machine learning we generally uh, train this set and use a test set all those things will be there here okay so here if you see uh, they are importing numpy matplotlib and uh, they are giving the graph same similar kind of thing and here they are splitting everything and displaying the data so you can see everything here okay so these kind of machine learning things also you can implement in the uh, google collab so let's see any other things are there um, you can see here python functions this is one of the python functions right uh, these these things also we can implement just copy pasting in the google collab okay so google collab actually uh, if you are using a big data set uh, it will this ram also will become uh, work nicely because it's already having 12 gb here okay make use of this uh, google collab and google collab also can be integrated with uh, github 
uh, whenever you do something here it will be getting updated in the github okay so and also you can have different versions of revision history here it is there and you can uh, download this notebook and you can again share with your friends and they can open here like this upload notebook if you have any new notebook you can upload here and the code will come nicely here okay so this is how we can make use of a google collab uh, while learning python and machine learning subjects okay thank you for watching